What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. We are here. Whiskey of the Year time. Put a lot of work into finding all my whiskeys of the year. This list changes throughout the year. I try to really pay attention to the whiskeys that wow me. This year, I was very fortunate. And that's thanks to the viewers, the people that join on my weekly lives, my Patreons, the people that buy merchandise, family, friends. I thank you all. You guys are all awesome. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. This channel would not be possible without you guys. I'm going to start with honorable mentions. And there's a long list of honorable mentions. I tried to keep it as short as possible. Four more 15 lamb rank. Beginning of the year, I tasted that. Incredible stuff. William the Rue Weller from 2017 Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Incredible stuff. Highland Park The Light. Highland Park The Dark. Highland Park Full Volume. All three of those 17 year old whiskeys, I struggled not putting them on the list. They were incredible in their own way. Really recommend them. They're definitely on the honorable mentions. Every single one of the Long Grow Reds that I've tried this year have been incredible. The Malbec, the, uh, the Cab Franc, the Cabernet Sauvignon, the Lot 40 cast strength of this year, the Macallan Classic Cut 2018, another honorable mention, incredible stuff. And honestly, one that was on the list and kept getting shifted around and whatever, uh, the Springbank 12-year-old cast strength. I just love that stuff. I think it's such a great buy. It's easily accessible. Check it out. Grab it if you can. I highly recommend it. On my list of top six whiskeys of the year, number six is the Bunnahaven 25-year-old. This is an excellent Isla expression. It's not peated, but it has all the salty brininess that Isla brings, especially after 25 years in the cask. It's an incredible dram. Um, they've changed it recently. They revamped the label. They revamped the bottle. They did a few things to it. It's still incredible whiskey inside. I had the opportunity of reviewing the old version this year, and I was in love with it. I think it's fantastic stuff. I think you guys need to pick that up. Number five is the Anak 1975. This is a 39-year-old whiskey. Only three casks to use to make it. Somehow, it's still around. You can find it between four and $700, depending on where you're looking. I know that's a lot of money, but for a 39-year-old, only three casks, two sherry, one ex-bourbon, highly recommend it. You're gonna get something you've never gotten before. It's excellent stuff. Check it out. Number four is this beautiful Springbank right here. The Springbank 12-year-old, Single cask burgundy. This is in a first fill burgundy cask, only 252 bottles. It kind of reminds me of what you would get out of an independent bottle because of the low amount of bottles produced. Obviously a smaller cask, 57.5%. Fantastic stuff if you can find it. I know that they were selling this in California, so all my California viewers, head out, look for this. Um, incredible stuff. This was sent to me by one of my subscribers. Super nice guy, really, really appreciate it. Obviously, he did something great because this managed to crack my top six on a list that was very difficult to crack. Number three is the Highland Park 21 year old. Now, this was not produced for the US market. Canada got a bunch of it. The LCBO still has a ton of it. Out West, they still have a ton of it. It won't be produced any longer and it's one of the few still bottled at 47% and up. Um, incredible stuff. I honestly, head to head against the 25 year old, I thought that this one was better. I think it just offers a little bit more than the 25 year old does. That extra ABV does a little bit more for the whiskey, I think. And it's half the price of the 25 year old. So for the Highland Park 21 year old, Highland Park 25 year old was my number two last year. This one's my number three. And I think that this one is actually better than my number two last year. Number two is one of the best kept secrets in the whiskey world, honestly. It's still pretty readily available. It's the Ben Riek 22 year old Moscatel. This whiskey is a dream. It drinks similar to your Glendronic 15 year old revival, similar to that kind of taste. It's 46%, but the balance on this whiskey is something to be marveled at. I love it. It's unchill filtered, no added color. It comes from a Moscatel cask finish. Um, just incredible stuff. I highly recommend you guys pick that up if you can. Not a lot of people know about this whiskey and I honestly have no idea why. 
It's incredible. Number two for me is the Benrick Moscatel, 22 year old. So probably the main reason why I'm focusing on independent bottles next year is my number one this year. Little spoiler alert right there. When I opened this whiskey, I was never more wowed in my life by a whiskey. The sweet nuances, the incredible aroma that just filled the room. It's honestly wonderful stuff. Number one is the Gordon McPhail Blair, 1993 Sherry Cask 24 year old. It's this one right here. All right. This was actually bottled in 2017. There's a newer version, which is right here. That's very good as well. Just not as good. And this one's a slightly older. They're both 24 years old, but this is the beginning of the 24th year. This is the end of the 24th year. The casks are obviously different. For those of you who are gonna head out and buy this whiskey, this is cask number 1964. Distilled in 1993 and bottled in August of 2017. So, fantastic stuff. Here's a look at the label one more time. Honestly guys, I can't say enough about this whiskey. And believe it or not, I've already tasted some whiskeys that have taken it up a notch. Those ones will probably be featured in my Whiskey of the Year video in 2019. But for now, that's my top six list. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are able to find a bunch of these whiskeys, if not all of them. They are all excellent and worth having a look at. Even if you can only get a sample of them, I highly recommend you do it. I wanna wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays and a very safe and happy new year. I, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate everything you've done for this channel. Year four is gonna be awesome. This video comes out on the anniversary of the channel. Every year I've posted a video so far on Christmas Eve. This year is gonna be no exception, obviously. And I'm really looking forward to 2019 with you guys. So far this journey has been incredible. I can't say enough about the people I've met, the whiskeys I've tried, and overall just a year long Christmas-like experience where people are just willing to share and spread the love of whiskey because for some reason this liquid brings people together better than anything I've ever seen. It's incredible stuff and you'd be doing some friends some favors if they haven't tried it yet. Get them into whiskey, get them into the incredible world that has been created thanks to this lovely liquid. You guys can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You guys can leave a comment below and I'll get to that. Merry Christmas.